think that is really important for music therapists to embrace is to always know the power of music and regularly experience it for yourself. Because by doing so, you know how much impact the music can give to yourself. That means you know how much impact you can give to your clients, your community, because being a business owner isn't easy. And sometimes you lose, you know, why? Why am I doing this? Because it's so hard. But you know what you do, why you do, and what kind of impact you can give. And it's very strong. So I suggest everybody to keep experiencing the power of music for yourself. But when your emotional energy is up, you are much more productive, much happier, much more joyous. Um, and having uh, that emotional energy um, in balance, I think does a lot more for you than trying to perfectly manage your time. Like this, you can do it. Just be patient and believe in yourself. Um, and it, it, it happens over time. And I am definitely that slow mover. I am not the run and jump. I will vet things out. It takes me a long time to get through some stuff and to move on it. But when I do move, I get it right. And that's, I think, what's important. Get a mentor. Um, we, we don't know everything. You know, there's just no possible way. And a lot of the times we're learning as we go. And um, you're going to learn so much faster if people who have already been down some of this journey can give you, you know, tips and guidance along the way. So I really, really encourage you. The first step that you can take would be to get a mentor, build relationships with people who have been where you are, um, get a business buddy, shout out to my business buddy, Anna McChesney. <laughs> um, there's a huge, like it's emotional support, it's logistical support, you know, it's just so, so important to have someone other than just yourself, because this journey can be lonely and um, it doesn't have to be. So write down all the way, the reasons you think that this could work and really build a support team around you. That's going to share in that vision with you of why it's going to work, because it's so easy for us when we've got a new idea a new vision, and we're just starting out in business to, to, to hear a lot of, you know, negative, negative feedback and hear, you know, that's, that's really hard. I don't, you don't have the experience or um, how about all of these roadblocks, but rather try to get that positive support system around you and, and really find ways to, to make sure you, you truly believe in your vision. Cause otherwise, you know, if you don't believe it, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. <laughs>